Well. Hello, I'm Sophia Choi. Thank you for joining us this noon. Let's get straight to breaking news. We are learning new details about the murder of a woman in a gated community in Buckhead. We first broke this story on WSB Tonight at 11. Our reporters and photographers saw several police officers working the scene overnight. Channel this is the one you were talking about, right? Yep. Wait okay. till you see the guy. <laughs> and listen, man. New Orleans, was it? Did were you here for New Orleans the other night? I think it was a couple nights ago. Maybe, maybe not. Women that was getting whacked out of New Orleans. I, I'm, you know, there's plenty, yeah. But I don't know if I'm. I'm not even sure if I know the one you're talking about. Oh man, it was bad, New Orleans. Glider this is women. this is what glider women wanted. Here yeah, you right. go. You you want to live with the sun, man? Here you go. Have fun. And every commercial is an interracial couple. They're they're pushing this interracial shit between glider women and sun men, even though, for the record, sun men are pushing it too. Because every black celebrity, once they get two nickels to rub together, they get a they get a glider woman. So they're both pushing it. Sun men are pushing it in the in, in through like mainstream, um, you know, just like indoctrination. To, they they basically like look if I get if, if you give me fucking a hundred thousand dollars right now I'm dumping this black chick and I'm getting me a fucking back. So it's like it's like they're I both. Yeah. I think you got a better chance of like surviving active combat than or you know without being injured than not being injured while being a glider married to a son man it, it's it's crazy. Yeah. This is this is this is this is um this is the union. My dark queen is is safe and sound over here, motherfuckers. <laughs> Okay, man. Hey, like, hey, look, there's exceptions to every rule, man. Yeah, exactly. Elizabeth Rollins is live in downtown Atlanta at the public safety headquarters. Elizabeth, in the last hour, police confirmed who the victim was and how this crime happened. So sad, Sophie. In the last 30 minutes, we have learned that 77-year-old Eleanor Bowles was found stabbed to death in her own garage, in her Buckhead gated community home yesterday. Between Investigators believe it happened between the hours of 11.30 a.m. and 12.30 p.m. They believe she may have been the target of a carjacking that just turned violently deadly. They have Salute the male monkey. Um, what is... What makes a carjacking of it now listen man let me just say if i rob a 70 year old person a 70 year old woman glad of woman how does it turn violent i just think i could do that without having to stab her i think i could literally take her money or and her stuff off of her without having to kill her i mean maybe when you you know your iq is at a level that you're just like functionally retarded essentially and you know you the thought or empathetic factor doesn't even cross your mind. You just fucking plug her and go on about your day. Don't even think about it. I think that's really what's going on with a lot of these dudes. They're, they're not really even like totally human. I think it's just hate. I think it's just blind hate. Yeah, that too. It, it, you know, because it's personal. He's probably grown up his whole life. Somebody to death about, with your hands. That shit's personal. Yeah, he probably grew up his whole life hearing about how like she didn't know how to bathe herself until they they taught her how to do it or some shit. Definitely a lot of hate. Here's my thing. <laughs> Here's my thing, though. Like, the white woman in D.C. the other day that ran off and was tussling and trying not to give up the keys, I can understand that. You know, this 77-year-old woman, like, you fucking raise your voice and she fucking starts shaking. You don't have to kill her. You don't, I'm, I'm telling you, I've seen these things happen, and I've been there, not with a 77-year-old person, but just with a, a, a middle-aged glider. You, you you really don't have to kill them if it's, if, if, if when you roll up, they're so terrified that it's like, could you imagine a 70-year-old woman? Like, you didn't have to kill that woman. She probably was, her heart was probably beating so fast. And she was couldn't she probably froze. You could have probably taken everything off of like a mannequin, like you're the fucking you know what I'm saying? You dressed the mannequins at a fucking clothing store. You could have just taken everything off of them. 
and that, that whole that whole <laughs> you know premise is operating from the supposition that you know he's trying to cow her, fear, make her you know give her up her property, and and he doesn't want to hurt her. But the thing is, is we're seeing increasingly, and hopefully people are waking up to this fact, is that they do want to hurt people. It's fun. It's recreational for them. They enjoy it. <sighs> At least an image, and I think we'll have one on your screen as well. This black Lexus SUV Christ. is her. This I thought she was gonna say black guy, but she described the black. black. So if you if you asked like her, fuck. she would be like, I, thought she was I don't say see black color. SOB. Yeah, <laughs> maybe when they start saying that, well, I mean, cause seriously, like the hell, man. You would knit, that woman would literally jump into a volcano full of lava before she would say a black guy. He looks like the guy who killed the real estate agent in Baltimore the other day. The one we covered yet, yet last night. Like, he literally, this is a rough looking son. Oh, yeah, young. Satan personified yeah. <laughs> with the young, horns and everything. Young, this is a young guy who, like, the, now this, this this goes on the prison, the school, the prison pipe. The, the schools get the, get the you know, he's a, he, the school, the prison pipeline. So this is this they're gonna blame this on the schools, they'll blame this on something, but it won't be him. Your screen as well. This black Lexus SUV is her car. That person next to it is a person of interest that they were looking for. Black they son of a bitch next to it is her uh... car, drove around the city of Atlanta and then dumped the car in DeKalb County. That... He just did this, he killed that woman, somebody's mom or grandmother, just a joyride. Person of interest that they were looking for. They believe that this person hey, stole man, Uber's car, expensive, drove man. around the city of Atlanta and then it's more than the, the price he wanted DeKalb to do it. County. That car has been recovered and is currently being processed by investigators. But meanwhile, this suspect, the suspect wearing that black Adidas sweatshirt and black Adidas pants is still out there and they're asking for the public's help. They're offering a $10,000 reward for anyone with information. Meanwhile, this family is just in shock. In fact, um, investigators told us earlier today that her son actually found her. Take a look. We had the uh, son uh, came home uh, to mm -hmm. visit his mom for the holidays. Uh, and again, this is. Oh, my God. <laughs> she, Jesus Christ. And, you know, I think even saying that doing this to evade the Uber fare is is thinking of it in a dangerously glider viewpoint. We need, You need to start thinking of it like oh, yeah. they're thinking of it like. You know, young boy like that. Oh, no, this is uh, sport. You... This is 100% sport. Yeah. I mean, Yo. not even that deep. Now, do you understand? Because people sometimes act like they, they wonder why, like, there's not as much commentary on the Gladys stories. The Gladys story, even that story we did in Aurora a few moments ago, where the son, the Glider, on Brito, the on Brito Glider, whatever the fuck it was, killed three people in, in, in the home, in the family. That story was so bold. Like, what? Sun crime is so deep and nuanced and layered. Like, think about it. He killed. He killed a seventy-seven-year-old woman in a gated community with cameras every fucking where, just to joyride for a few hours and ditch the car, and left her in a fucking puddle of blood. Her fucking son coming home for the think about you're riding home you're driving or you're flying and you're driving and you touch down and you call mom and she doesn't answer you know maybe mom's sleep or maybe mom's doing something you pull up you put your park your car you pull up you know you're getting your stuff up and you see your mom laying in a puddle of blood fucking shot to death or hacked to death, whatever it was. And her car is gone, and you already know who did it. And it's like, and it's like, the pain that he put that, they put people through, that pain that that guy encountered when he walked up and saw his mother like that, is is worth an extra, what, 10 years or whatever sentence you give this guy. Just for that, just for the son having to see that. This is they this is pain they're putting people through, man. Son actually found her. Take a look. We had the uh son I came home uh to visit his mom for the holidays. Uh and again, this is terrible. 
Uh, I was here a couple of weeks ago, so we talk about the holidays. Uh, this is not a way that a family should have to spend their holiday season uh, mourning and grieving a death of a loved one. So sad. And investigators are asking the community. Think about it. A glider woman, 77-year-old glider woman, dies like we just explained, and she gets us so sad. If a fucking 50-year-old crackhead career criminal was killed by a cop, this woman would give us an op-ed. Yeah, I like how they couldn't even bother to give us like a a frame shot of the fucking guy they have to she's got a fucking wrinkled print out from an hp printer of the picture of this dude who just murdered this woman and they didn't even ask like what the woman was like <laughs> no nah, they didn't talk to the family at all uh, we're waiting to hear from uh, this random son teen's mother to hear about you know his childhood and upbringing so sad and investigators are asking the community if you have any images or uh, if you have any knowledge of seeing this Lexus there any information will be of value of course this is something we're going to continue to follow and keep you updated there's so many other questions that that remain unanswered like the fact that she was in a gated community and we don't know how that person got in or if that person lived there um, but a lot of things to sort out and of course we're going to continue follow to home robbery and keep you updated. We're live in downtown Atlanta, Elizabeth Rollins, Channel 2 Action News. Elizabeth, it's a good And just another jugger on the prowl. You are not safe. You really need to be aware of your surroundings, even in a gated community, and even when you reach your own garage. Thank you.